I'm going to talk about web annotations and elephants. Uh, I'm Doug Sheppers from W3C. This is Yvonne Herman. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> We're the two stooges. Um, Yvonne Herman, my, uh, my colleague. Uh, Yvonne is the, sort of the semantic web guy. I'm Shepazoo on Twitter. Publication guy. Publication guy. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, Yvonne uh, uh, is, is Yvonne Herman. Um, we're going to have a uh, sort of a, this is an unusual workshop for us. One, we're going to be live streamed. Uh, okay. Uh, one, we're going to be live streamed if we can. Uh, it seems to be working, yeah. Uh, two, uh, we open this up to a larger audience than we normally open up W3C workshops to. We usually have, ask everybody to submit a position paper. We decided we wanted to have a larger conversation. So um, uh, we are going to, I'm just going to go through a few things about what we're trying to do here, the general case, and then we're going to have uh, several topics set up through the day, and we're going to have uh, a few speakers speak for five minutes on each topic, and then we're going to have a general conversation about that topic. And the end goal here is for us to come up with targets for, uh, for standardization, and that is the goal of this workshop. And we'll just talk a little bit more about that. So, uh, Rudyard Kipling uh, said... Uh, uh, he, he had in his story, The Elephant's Child, he said, I keep six honest serving men. They taught me all I know. Their names are what and where and when and how and why and who. All I knew. Sorry. I send them over land and sea. I send them east and west. But after they have worked for me, I give them all a rest. And the theme of my little presentation here is the, the five W's and H. Who, what, when, where, why, how, etc. So first, Who? And the big question in my mind, who are we serving here? Who needs web annotations? And there's a long, uh, there's a long list here, teachers, students, researchers, readers, web users. It goes on and on, captioners, trans translators, policymakers. A lot of different people need web annotations. Um, and so what we're trying to do here at this workshop is we're trying to meet their needs. We're trying to meet the needs of the people who are going to be using the fruits of what we're building. And uh, and that comes down to us, right? We are the people who are going to provide them that capability. The people in this room are you know, the first wave of people who are going to bring on what we feel is going to be a huge tsunami of, of content and awesomeness on the web. Uh, who are we? Well, there's content publishers, there's annotation service providers, software developers, and there's also the elephants that aren't in the room, which is, for the most part, we don't have most of the browser vendors here. And... Uh, that's going to be a key constituency that we're going to need to bring into the fold. And so that's another part of our job, is to convince the browser vendors that, indeed, annotations are important enough that this should be a first-class service of the web. Uh, and also, you guys all know the, the blind men and the elephant. Uh, you know, uh, several blind men came upon an elephant, and they each tried to figure out what it was like. And the first one touches his side, and he says, it's a wall. Uh, elephants are like a wall, and the other one touches his trunk and says, oh, elephants are like a tree, and the other one touches his tail and says, elephants are like a rope, and another one touches his tusk, and elephants are like a spear, and another one touches his nose and says, Ele elephants are like a snake. Uh, and uh, each one of them, in their context, was right, and each one of us is going to come to annotations, and we're going to have our perspective on it, and the, the bigger picture is bigger than what it, the vision of any of us in this room has. So the big picture is what we're trying to get to here. And the important thing there is we need to work together and we need to respect uh, the differences in our communities. We're going to bring together two different communities that, together, that haven't worked together much at W3C. We're going to have the people, the data people, uh, and the publication people who are related. You, the data people and the publication people, you think, we're not related at all. But when you compare yourselves to the browser people, you're absolutely related. These are two different worlds that we're kind of merging in this working group to have a cohesive whole because there's going to be parts of this that are about data and about uh, formats and things like that. And there's going to be parts of this that are about uh, scripting APIs and events. And I, we think that the bigger picture is, the, is this larger thing. And then there's the standards bodies um, that are going to be involved and they're, they're a whole other elephant. So uh, where, uh, where are annotations needed? 
on, on, on websites that don't have open comment systems, on websites that do have open comment systems, if you want to make your own private annotations on those websites or share them with just a select group, uh, on ebook readers, on Kindles, on uh, you know, all the other devices, um, uh, Sony ebook readers and the, the Kobo and uh, the Nook and all those. Uh, schools, we need these in schools. Increasingly, uh, education is using these. Um, collaboration and peer review systems, and then across formats as well. We're going to have date. We're going to be need to connect to be able to connect annotations to data, and to PDF documents and all these other formats. And when is 25 years ago when the web first started? This is this year is the anniversary, the 25th anniversary of the web. We should have had annotations from the start. It was part of the original vision. Goes back many years. But we didn't ever get it, right? And so now we here in this room are starting to actually try to bring this together. This is a rough standardization timeline for those of you who haven't worked before in W3C. Um, within the next couple of months, we're hoping to finalize our charter and actually launch a working group, uh, a web, what we're probably calling the Web Annotations Working Group. A working group is a group of experts that get together, works in the, it works in the public, uh, responds to public feedback, et cetera, and they edit the specification and one or more specifications. And uh, so over the next six months to a year, we'll make several specifications. We'll bring those to the point where we think they're about done. Uh, then we're going to go into making unit taste, mm, excuse me, unit tests. So in other words, interoperability is what, I mean, is one of the, the key aspects of W3C. We want to make sure that these things work well together. So we make these unit tests, and these and implementations pass these unit tests, and that's how we know that these different th these different moving parts will work together. Um, so over the next year, year and a half, we're hoping to have implementations, and then within a couple of years, we're hoping to have at least some of these specifications. And I think there's actually probably going to be sp several specifications. We hope to have them finalized as a standard. So why? Um, a, anybody who's already in this room is already probably convinced about uh, annotations, but if you're not convinced, it's increasingly common in education. Uh, and by that, even just the idea of annotation, over the, the, we didn't do this in the United States when I was a child, but now they're doing something called close reading and annotation in English books and technical books, where they're having kids highlight passages and have more of a conversation with the book, like the, you know, uh, categorize bits of, of the book or uh, write, a, write notes in the marginalia or, or make marginalia in the margins rather. Keep notes uh, and ask questions to the text that you can then bring back into the... This is actually something that's being taught in schools now and as they move, as schools move to digital books and tablets, etc., we're going to need to keep that functionality. We don't want them to lose functionality, we want to gain functionality as, as they move to digital formats. Um, uh, there has been a convergence, an excellent convergence of annotation models. We had two different competing annotation models out there um, that came together in the Open Annotation Community Group, and Paolo and Rob are here in the room, and I want to thank them for the effort that they put in, all that, that hard work, to bring these two models and reconcile these two models together. I think that's going to be one of the foundations of what we're working on here. And also the publication industry is moving to web technology. so. Uh, we need to meet their needs, and we also, not just for client-facing stuff, not just for reader-facing stuff, but also for writers and editors and their whole work chain, and, those, and annotations will play a role there. And what are annotations? Uh, they're metadata, right? They're content about content, um, and one aspect of that content about content is what is the thing, how, how does this piece of content connect into this other piece of content. We'll, go, we'll talk later about robust anchoring. Um, but, so that's, that's what annotations are, effectively, is, is some way of connecting some piece of content to another piece of content. What are web annotations? Web annotations, the nature of web annotations, in my opinion, and I welcome your feedback here, is about distributing and decentralizing that infrastructure just like the web is de decentralized and distributed. So how do we not just make one service that is the annotation service, how do we make a hundred services that are annotation services? How do we build into our standards the ability for everybody to hook into this common standard? Um, and there are lots of moving parts to annotations, and I'm just going to talk about a couple. 
um, there's a services and exchange level uh, that's publishing the annotations, uh, storage, sharing those annotations. There's the data model that, lets, that makes that interchange possible. There's maybe a REST API that says, hey, you know, go off and get this, uh, this annotation here. Maybe that's uh, a simple REST API. Maybe it's related to um, activity streams. There's any number of ways we could approach that, and that's something I think the working group could tackle. Um, another part of it is what, we, what I typically call the front end, client side, browser. These are other words for this. Um, how do we, once, we, once somebody has made an annotation on a web page, and they aren't controlling that web page, they're just commenting on it, when somebody else visits that page and they want to see that annotation, how do we anchor that annotation back to that, uh, to that original passage? That's a tricky problem, right? but I think that there's, I think there's some things we can do there, hopefully in browsers. Um, uh, we also want to anchor to a particular timestamp in a video or audio track, a particular location on, a, on an image. Uh, we also want to hook into data for scientists. They need to be able to have a way to say, it's this piece of data over here and link to that data. Um, for events and notification, letting a blog know that somebody annotated on it so that they can get the best of those annotations and bring them back into their comment system. Um, issues around styling. Uh, uh, so how do you, how do you say this, be, this bit of this document has been annotated? Um, you know, that's maybe a CSS question. And maybe that's not something that our, our group would handle, but rather drive requirements to the CSS working group. Um, I had the idea for maybe a note element that would be for annotations, for comments, for footnotes, in notes, things like that. These are maybe, and maybe that has an API that says, hey, this thing actually is actually at this physical place in the, in the page on the current zoom level or your current reflow or browser size. These are all ideas about some of the moving parts that we might deal with in, in, uh, in a working group. So the how. Uh, how are we going to do this thing, right? We've got all these people together. How are we going to work together? At W3C, the first thing we do is um, we find somebody who's already done it, and we ask them to come work with us. But really, <laughs> that's actually how we really do it. But what we do is we, we draft a charter, and we say, this is an idea that uh, these are the moving parts. This is what we want people to work on. This is a huge topic, and I think the first thing we're going to have to do is focus on a few core things, get those working, and then move on to other things later. And we'll talk more about that. So the third, uh, so, the, so we standardize the critical parts. We get implementations. We're gonna have, we have, there's actually already things, there's either applications, I say jo JavaScript libraries, but there's also standalone applications out there, some of you may have written them, that do annotations. Uh, and getting those things to work together. Hopefully, once we have some JavaScript libraries that show how it could be done in browsers, we actually can get it into browsers. And again, the how is we work together. Um, and then after you have worked for W3C, we give you all a rest. We think there's going to be this initial round of standardization that sort of lays the groundwork and the foundations. Then industry is going to go out there, and there's going to be a lot of services. There's going to be a lot of applications. Uh, in, in, in what I call innovation and differentiation. Everybody's going to go their own separate ways. And there's going to be a point at which we're like, hey, we've all sort of agreed upon these, or we've all sort of decided these are the best practices. We might come back later, a couple years later, and say, OK, let's standardize this new part that will enable the next aspect of annotation. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about where we came from. And we came from traditional comments to some degree on the web. Um, they started in the late 90s. Uh, uh, I think probably the, by, by about 97, 98, it was pretty common to be able to leave comments on an article. Um, and this actually co constitutes most of what most people do on the web. Um, they, if they're going to write something on the web, a lot of it is about some other article. Uh, annotation is actually sort of core to the, act, to the activity that we do, but it's, it's, not, it doesn't, it's not done quite right. <laughs> you, can't, you, you can only leave a comment down at the bottom. They're usually, uh, you can't, actually em emerging, there are a bunch of websites, Medium, for example, New York Times, a few others, that are letting you comment on, a, say, a per paragraph level. Uh, there's Rap Genius that lets you comment on a per line level on their lyrics. Um, 
But there's a lot of problems with spam, trolling, flaming, irrelevant comments, things like this. And here I'm going to throw in the obligatory elephant reference, which is a white elephant is a possession that is more trouble than it's worth, but it's hard to get rid of. And that's sort of where we are with comments. And I'm going to suggest that annotations might help us with getting rid of the traditional comment system. Uh, so the other aspect I talked about was decentralization. And I think this is really important. I think this is at the core of the idea of web annotations. And uh, the elephant test, uh, in, in legal terms, it's an idea or a thing that's difficult to describe, but you know it when you see it. I can't tell you exactly how we're going to get to, uh, to decentralization. I can't tell you exactly what standards will basically say, yes, this will lead to a decentralized annotation system. But I think that once we figure out those mechanisms, that we'll, we'll know the right direction. And with regards to like the big players, um, there's all, right now we have a lot of centralization around services. And I have nothing against these services. I use these services. I use Twitter. I use Facebook. I, uh, I use Google Hangouts or Google Plus. I use these services. But if we only see one or two annotation services emerge, I think that's going to be a problem. I think we need to have lots of different annotation services. Uh, so I've already told you about the blind men and the elephant. Uh, well, there were four blind elephants, and they came across a human. And the first, the first one says, I think humans are flat. And all the elephants agreed. So uh, we don't want the elephants to be the only, uh, only people describing annotations on the web. Uh, what are the goals of this workshop? So we're going to learn the different approaches. We're going to learn the different thoughts from the experts who we've invited onto stage. Uh, we're going to prioritize, prioritize use cases and features for standardization. We're going to decide amongst ourselves what we think the most salient parts are. Then we're going to have a productive conversation. We're going to have a productive conversation, all right? So what, what that means is... Uh, if you feel you can improve upon the silence, speak up. It doesn't matter who you are. But if you feel like uh, uh, the conversation is going the right direction, you, know, you might want to consider carefully what you're saying next. Because we have limited time here. And uh, I'm not trying to discourage everybody, but I'm trying to say, give us your best comments. Unlike this presentation, which I threw together. I apologize. At the end of the day, we want to be confident on the charter details. Uh, we want to know what this charter is going to look like. How are we going to get that? So, as I said before, we're going to have several, we're going to break the day up into several topics. We're going to have lightning talks, five minutes each. While one lightning talk is ending, uh, we're going to give the, that person a chance to have, field a couple of questions. We're going to bring the next speaker on. They're going to be hooked up to the, their laptop to this. It's going to be really professional. Um, and then we're going to have a conversation. At the end of the lightning talks, we're going to have a conversation. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, we're going to draw some conclusions. We're going to have a charter discussion. And we're going to ho hopefully come out of the day with what seems like a, a credible charter. That charter will then go to W3C. We'll polish it up. We'll uh, put it to our members and say, hey, do you think we should work on this? And if our members says, say, yes, we should work on this, then we're going to form a working group. If a member say no, uh, we'll try again later. Um, so uh, elephants never forget, but we all do. So we are recording all of this. Uh, we have a scribe over here. Um, and if, you, if you're about to say something, um, uh, Chantil, and Chantil has not yet learned your name, First, you should say your name when you stand up. We'll come around with a mic when we're having a conversation. And if, uh, if please start with your name. And if you don't start with your name, Chantille is authorized to uh, scream at you and say, I need your name. Be, uh, be respectful of the fact that there's lots of people who, for whom English is not their native language. Uh, speak slowly and clearly, unlike me. <laughs> Sorry, Yvonne. Uh, and also, if you're familiar with W3C, you know that we do things on IRC. Uh, if you have an IRC client, uh, great. If you don't have an IRC client, you can go to irc.w3.org. And the channel is, uh, which is a web page that will, it's, that will let you get into IRC. Uh, the channel is hash IRC. 
IRC is a great place to have side conversations or to queue up questions that you might that you might want answered. Uh, and to, if you uh, oh, sorry, the channel is hash. That's a pound sign annotation. Uh, and I want to remind everybody that the I Annotate Summit starts tomorrow. If you have not registered for the I Annotate Summit but are interested in going, uh, let us know, and we will um, uh, we will see about getting you on the wait list. Let's see. And as the jazz singer, the famous female jazz singer, Ella Fitzgerald said, it isn't where you came from, it's where you're going that counts. So wherever your perspective on annotations comes from, let's you know, look towards the future of annotation and let's uh, try to work together. And everybody has, here has the necessary qualifications to add to that. Uh, none of you is irrelevant. So thank you, everybody.